obviously just a different world in, in, in other people in the sense that other people genuinely don't listen to us. So when the crisis occurred, people scratched their heads and stockbrokers and politicians come on television and they say, oh wow, this is like nothing we've ever seen before. How could anybody understand and predict such a thing? The only problem is, of course, economists have been predicting it for decades. We've seen dozens and dozens of similar episodes. Okay? There's a book, an entire book written, documenting all the other financial crises just in the last you know, 50 years or so. The crisis of crisis in Chile, there was crisis in Sweden, there was crisis in Japan. Over and over and over again, we see these kinds of crises. So these crises aren't new, and they're not unexpected. The timing is unexpected, but the presence of them is not unexpected. It didn't come as a shock to economists. So I'm not quite sure why Paul has gone off on the tangent that he has, since he wrote some of these papers. He should know that these papers exist, and so he should know what economists were saying. And so for him to write lengthy articles in the, in the New York Times, um, in the New York Times uh, magazine, saying that economists have nothing to say about these crises, it's, it's, it's simply misleading on his part. I have to imagine intentionally misleading. The reasons for this I don't entirely understand, perhaps because Perhaps because he wants to discredit the economics profession in order to be able to push through a wish list of, of um, projects and expenditures and, and under, under the name of the fiscal stimulus, which is what it was. It's hard to know what's going on in Paul Kruger's mind. I don't have to pretend that I know. And my goal is to keep the price low, have a low price, so that lots of you will, will get the book and read it, right? So I hope some of you are willing to pay $2.99 to buy the book on Amazon. And those of you that aren't, I hope you're willing to get it for free, because it's available for free as well. Uh, so what I want is I want people to read the book. This is the mission of open book publishers. The mission of open book publishers is not to try to make as much money as possible by distributing as few copies as possible. The mission of open book publishers is to distribute as many copies as possible and make things as widely available as possible.